Jay-Z is suing Damon Dash. 50, is the subject of legal action from his former record label, Rockefeller Records, which he co-founded with a 99 Problems artist and is still a minority shareholder, who claimed he is attempting to sell the copyright to the rapper's debut album Reasonable Doubt as a non-fungible digital token, NFT, but doesn't have permission to do so. In documents obtained by Entertainment Tonight, the complaint states Damon had planned to sell at a Super Farm Foundation online auction on June 23 but is now frantically scouting for another venue to make the sale after the auction was cancelled, but the firm insisted he has no rights to do so. The documents state, Dash does not even own reasonable doubt or its copyright and, therefore, has no right to sell the album or any rights to it. Instead, RAF Incorporated owns all rights to reasonable doubt. The sale of this irreplaceable asset must be stopped before it is too late, and Dash must be held accountable for his theft. The bottom line is simple, Dash can't sell what he doesn't own. By attempting such a sale, Dash has converted a corporate asset and has breached his fiduciary duties. According to the paperwork, J. Damon, and Kareem Burke each own a third of the shares in Rockefeller. The document added, Dash's status, as, a minority shareholder in RAF Incorporated, gives him no right to sell a company asset. The complaint alleges that the producer has already minted the album, which launched Jay's career when it was released in 1996, as an NFT and is trying to sell it as soon as possible. The documents were accompanied by Super Farm's announcement about selling the album. They had written, Super Farm is proud to announce, in collaboration with Damon Dash. The auction of Damon's ownership of the copyright to Jay-Z's first album Reasonable Doubt. This marks a new milestone in the history of NFTs, entitling the new owner to future revenue generated by the unique asset. The monumental event will last for two days starting on June 23rd and concluding on June 25th. Super Farm is excited to host this truly remarkable auction and immortalize one of the world's greatest artists on the blockchain. According to the documents, the auction was cancelled following a letter from Jay-Z's legal team. Dash told Page Six in response that he felt Jay-Z was lying about the ownership of the material. He said, he lying. That's a whole lie. J owns one third of reasonable doubt. They just said that I tried to sell an NFT of reasonable doubt and, it's not true. I'm not running around to different places trying to auction off reasonable doubt. I've been working with one platform and that's Super Farm. And the thing is I own a third of Rockefeller Records and I can sell my third if I feel like it. Dash said that Jay-Z had previously made him a lowball offer of $1.5 5 million for his Rockefeller share. That's what corporate always does to the independent guy, he said. It's a case of corporate versus independent and how they try to bully me, but they are trying to bully the wrong one. It is the same effing game. It just seems like they so mad if I get money. I don't know why but why can't I sell my third to whoever I want, whenever I want? I don't have to ask. Dash told TMZ Sunday that he has been looking to sell his share of Rockefeller and that under the terms of the deal with a potential buyer, the buyer would buy my share of Rockefeller Records and Jay-Z will have exclusive administration rights. In his chat with Page Six, Dash said that the real issue is that Jay-Z feels he can compromise a man's reputation for no reason. He continued, 
he thinks Rockefeller Records is his, it is ours, and Hess doing all this on Rockefeller's behalf. Hess got only one man to eat syndrome and everybody else got to work for him syndrome and kiss the ring and we're gonna mess up his reputation syndrome if you look under the hood. It continues to happen. Dash told the outlet that it is fed up for one black man to do that to another black man in front of all these people and whoever believes that Hess is a sucker. I got a bridge I can sell you to, 